Hi, and welcome back to Google Part 3, video number 9 in this series. We're going to be creating a survey, quiz, and test page. Now, this really is the easiest of all the pages. In my opinion, this is an easy assignment. The most difficult part is getting used to the environment and getting used to how to add new pages and looking at all the pull-down menus and seeing what they do. Now that we've got a good grasp on that, we're ready to create this survey page. Super easy to create. We want to go to create new page. We're going to name it survey quiz test. Um, you can change it to just quiz page or test or survey. You can use combinations as long as it has something like that. Leave it as web page top level and click create. Okay, so you'll want to stop working for a second and just watch this video. It is so easy to do that you will get lost if you're trying to create it at the same time of listening to it. So we want to go ahead and click in our box, go into insert. We're going to insert a spreadsheet form. Click on that. It'll highlight our forms and we come in here and we will click on the form that we'd like. So I'm going to do exit survey. It's something that you're familiar with and I'm going to click select. My height and my width, I'm going to leave the width empty. I want it to be full width, but I will leave the height at 600 pixels. Now, do we need the title included? Do you need a border? I would leave both of those options there and click save. We have that ugly box that we've seen now three times and we know that it goes away as soon as we hit the save tab, save button. Once we hit save, our form populates the page and now our students can go in, fill out the, the questionnaire or survey or quiz or test and hit submit and that will allow them to get their information to you. Remember that this survey quiz test form is anonymous. So if you need to know the names of your students, you will want to ask for their names in the quiz. I am going to go to more and go into page settings to make sure I remove those items that I know I need to remove from all pages, show in sidebar and hit save. Now we populate here in the navigation bar and this page is done. Our last video will be about themes and navigation bar. So come back and join me and we will do the 10th video and the last video in the series. Enjoy. You have a wonderful, wonderful website now and now you are able to grow with it and to be able to populate it as you wish.